Now, the story I'm going to share with you today would be suitable for listeners ages three and older, and there are some things that you can do to help me. One of the things that's going to happen is we're going to have some running in the story. And there's going to be a little girl, and when she runs, it doesn't sound very loud. So you can take your fingers and tap them like this. Or you can tap two fingers of each hand on your lap. But we're going to also say a sound. And we're going to say, pit-a-pat-a, 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 pit-a-pat-a. So go ahead and try that. Ready? Pit-a-pat-a, pit-a-pat-a, pit-a-pat-a. Now, there's also going to be someone else who runs in the story, and he has four legs, and he's used to running, so he's going to run and sound louder. So you can either clap your hands, or you can pat them on your legs. And the sound that we're going to make is, hunka chunka, hunka chunka, hunka chunka, hunka chunka. Try that now. Hunka chunka, hunka chunka, hunka chunka, hunka chunka. That's great. So those are the main two sounds that you're going to help me with. Now, the little girl's going to kind of hum a song. Do, 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 do. That's not really humming, but it's not really singing. If you have older listeners, with you, they might recognize that song that was called Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf? And it was in a Disney movie in the 1930s of the Three Little Pigs. Yeah, it's an old, old tune. So now, are you ready to help me out? Okay, so I'm going to take off my rabbit and, oops, hold on, got something popping up on me. And we're going to get started on the story, The Gunny Wolf. Once upon a time, there was a little girl. Her name was Margie. And Margie lived with her mom, and they lived in a small little house at the edge of a pretty little woods. Well, one day, Margie's mom said, mm, it's time to go to the grocery store. And Margie thought, oh, she didn't want to go to the grocery store. She didn't like going to the grocery store. Do any of you not like going to the grocery store? Mm, I don't either. <laughs> But it has to be done. And Margie thought maybe this one time, maybe she could talk her mom into letting her stay home. So first she asked very politely, oh, mom, please, can't I stay home? And then she kind of begged and got a little whiny. Oh, mom, please, I'm old enough now. Well, it worked because her mom decided that she indeed could stay home, but she had to promise a couple of things. One of them was that she would lock all the windows and all of the doors once her mother left. And the other was that she would not go outside while her mother was gone and she would not go in the woods. Now Margie wanted her mom to think she was very serious, so she even put her hand up like this. Why don't you do that? Hold up your right hand. And she said, I promise to lock all the windows and the door and not go outside, especially not go into the woods. And her mom believed her. And so when her mom left, Margie went over to each of their windows and she made sure the lock was locked. Are you ready? We're going to move the lock and say click, click. And she went over to the second window, click. And she went over to the third window, click. And she went over to the fourth window, click. And then she went over to the last window, click. And then she walked over to the front door and she pushed the bolt across the door, clunk, and locked the lock, click. And she was safe. Now Margie started walking around the house. Hmm, now she had all this free time. What did she want to do? Well, for a little while, she sat down with a coloring book. Do you like to color? Hmm, I do too. And she had some really nifty colored pencils that she used. And she colored for a while. And then she got tired of doing that. And so she got up and she looked at some of the books she had gotten from the library. Some of them she had been anxious to read. She had, if you give a mouse a cookie, 
Mm -hmm. She had one of Dr. Seuss's books. She had Hop on Pop. That's a good one too. Oh, just so many books that she was wanting to read. But she didn't sit down and read them because she happened to notice some beautiful sunlight streaming in through one of the windows. And she walked over to the window and she looked outside. Oh, everything was so pretty. It was all green because they had had lots of sun and rain. And then she noticed just at the edge of the woods, there were some beautiful blue flowers. Guess what her mother's favorite color is? You guessed, blue. And so she thought, oh, my mom would really, really like those blue flowers. I think I'll go out and pick them. Now, do you think she should go outside and pick those flowers? I see you are all sh shaking your heads or saying no. Why shouldn't she? You're right. Some of you said because she promised her mother she wouldn't go outside. Well, let me tell you another reason that her mother didn't want her to go outside. That Margie knew all about because she heard about it all the time, all the days of her young life. You see, everybody said that in those woods lived a gunny wolf. And the gunny wolf liked to eat little children. So you see, you're right. Margie shouldn't go out. But Margie was not being as smart as you that day. She picked up a basket. She went to the front door. She pulled back the bolt, clunk. She unlocked the lock, click, and she went outside. And now as she walked over to where she had seen the blue flowers, she hummed this little song. Do, 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 She got to the blue flowers. She leaned down and smelled them. Oh, they smelled wonderful. And she started picking them and putting them in her basket. Well, after she had gotten a few of the blue flowers, she happened to look into the woods and she noticed that there were some lovely yellow flowers growing there. Oh, wouldn't they be pretty with the blue flowers? But she'd have to go into the woods a little ways. Hmm, should she go? What do you think? Hmm, again, I see you shaking your heads. No, she shouldn't go. And why not? Because she promised her mother and because a gunny wolf lived in the woods. But again, Margie wasn't being as smart as you are today and she went into the path into the woods. As she went, she hummed her little song. Do, 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 do. Are you singing along with her? Do, 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 do. Well, she got to those lovely yellow flowers. She bent down. Oh, they smelled wonderful too. And she began to pick them and add them to her basket. Now, as she was picking the yellow flowers, she happened to notice that deep, deep, deep into the woods, there were some oh, magnificent red flowers. Oh, wouldn't those look lovely with her yellow and blue ones? And so she thought, hmm, should she go further into the woods? She hadn't seen a wolf or even heard the sound of a wolf. What do you think? Should she go? <laughs> you're right. I know you're all shaking your heads no again or saying no because she had made that promise to her mom and besides which there might be a gunny wolf. But again, Margie wasn't as smart of a thinker as you are today. And off she went deeper into the woods singing her song. Do 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 and she was just bending down to pick up some of those red flowers to put in her basket when out of the woods came the wolf little girl that's what the wolf said I like that song you're singing Sing it some more. Well, of course, Margie was scared. 
but she didn't know what else to do. I mean, a wolf tells you to sing, you better sing. And besides which she could maybe think of a way to get out of this mess while she was singing. So even though she was a bit scared and her voice sounded a little bit shaky, she started singing that song. Do, 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 do. The wolf had fallen asleep. And so Margie decided she'd have to take a chance. She needed to run as fast as she could. Are you ready to do Margie's running? Here we go. Pitta patta, pitta patta, pitta patta, pitta patta, pitta patta, pitta patta. But of course the wolf woke up. Hey, where'd that little girl go? and he started chasing after Margie. Ready? Honka chonka, honka chonka, honka chonka, honka chonka, honka chonka. And of course, since the wolf has four legs and Margie only had two, and the wolf was running, used to running all the time, he caught up with Margie. He looked at her and he said, Hey, little girl, I want to hear that song again, that sweet, pretty song. And so Margie, knew she had to sing, but she tried to do it even sweeter because she was wanting the wolf to sleep a little bit longer. And so she began to sing. Do, 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 The wolf was asleep again. So Margie ran as fast as she could. Pitta patta, pitta patta, pitta patta, pitta patta, pitta patta. She was beginning to see the edge of the woods where you, she could get out of the woods and back into her yard. Pitta patta, pitta. But the wolf woke up. Hey, where'd that little girl go? Huh? And he started chasing her. Honka chonka, honka chonka, honka chonka, honka chonka, honka chonka, honka chonka. And of course he caught up with her. Well, Margie was so close to the edge of the woods, she could see into her yard and she could see her house. And she waited and the wolf said, Hey, little girl, sing that sweet little song again. I really like it. And so she began to sing. Do, 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 as sweetly as she could. Do, 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 well, the wolf was really fast asleep this time. And Margie knew she needed to get out of the woods and to her fat house as fast as she could. So she ran faster than she had ever run in her life. Pit a bit a bat a bit a bat a bit a bat a bit a bat a bit a bat. She got to her front door, she opened it up, she ran into the house, she slammed the door shut, boom. She pushed the bolt, clunk, and locked the lock, click. The wolf woke up. Hey, I don't see that little girl anywhere. And the wolf went home, or at least I guess that's where he went. Now Margie was at home. Her heart was racing. It was pounding so fast. She put the basket of flowers onto the kitchen countertop, and she sat down. <sighs> She was trying to slow her heart rate down and get to where she could breathe normally when she heard the car door. Her mom was home. She looked out the window and her mom called to her, Margie, come help me with the groceries. So she pulled back the bolt, clunk. She opened up the lock, click. She opened up the door and she started helping her mom carry in the bags of groceries. Pretty soon they had the whole car unloaded and Margie sat down, not knowing if she should tell her mom. When her mom looked over at the countertop and she said, Margie, where did these flowers come from? Margie knew she had to tell her mom what had happened. She said, oh, mom, oh, mom, I broke my promise. I went outside. I started picking flowers for you because they were so pretty. And then I saw the gunny wolf, but mom, I got away from him. You can see I'm okay. I'm okay. But mom, I promise I will never break a promise 
to you again, and I will never go in those woods again. And you know, she never did. And that's the story of the gunny wolf. I hope you liked it. It's a very old story. No one is exactly sure where it came from. Some people think it came from the area of our country called Appalachia, but no one knows for sure. So I hope you enjoyed that story. My name is Terry Lott, and if you want any more information, you can contact me on my website at lotsoftales.weebly.com.